the level of professional racing in South Africa is definitely picking up, you know. We obviously see that Sargon's in good shape, Cavendish is going well, um, you can never count Cancellara out. Milan San Romo 2013 will go down in infamy as one of the most epic races of all time, rivaling even the 1980 Liège Baston Liège. Hopefully by now the riders will have recovered some feeling in their hands and feet. Despite the epic conditions and the half-time snow break, it was a familiar script in the end, with the climb of the Cipressa lighting the race up with 30 kilometres to go, and the final selection being made on the climb of the Poggio. Britain's Ian Stannard of Sky Pro Cycling rode an incredible race, but ultimately had to acquiesce to the sprinters. Odds on favourite Peter Sagan of Cannondale overplayed his hand in the finale and gave up the win to Gerald Cholek of MTN Quebec. We caught up with a new champion and found out just how things were sinking in. Crossed the finish line yesterday and uh, I had some time to rest. We had a nice dinner with the team and so good sleep, so I'm already recovered a little bit. Cool. So, can you talk me through those those final moments? Then you've you've made the break over the Poggio, and uh, you're in a you're in that break that's just chasing down Stannard and Shevnal. What's what's going through your head? Did you did you consciously try and make Sagan and Cancellara do more work, or were you just you know playing it as it lied in the moment? Yeah, in the sense of the Poggio, it was more uh, you're so concentrated because the road is wet and. There's so many corners and you're just concentrated to stay on the bike and maybe not take too much risk that you, you don't crash. And I was feeling quite uh, quite safe on the bike, so I had a good feeling in descent. And yeah, then when we came out of the descent, um, going into San Remo, I just tried to uh, to watch uh, Cancellara. I mean, he's well known for his, uh, for his attacks. Yes. That was a risk I had on my mind, and I just tried to watch him. And yeah, then it was uh, Saga, who was a great favorite, so he took some uh, responsibility. Yeah. So, at what point in those final meters, then, did you think that you know you were going to win Milan San Remo? I think finally you know it when you cross the finish line. I mean that there is a chance, and you, when I felt I was able to uh, go over the podium with the best riders and. Then it was like, hey, maybe I can do good result today. And then going on the last 300 meters in the perfect position, it was like, hey, okay, maybe it's uh, about the win or about the victory today. So. In women's cycling, Georgia Bronzini won the GPC to the Padova. Her Wiggle Honda team controlled the race to ensure a sprint finish, dominated by the former double world champion. The World Cup opens next weekend with the Trofeo Alfredo Binder. GCN spent the day with the NetApp Endura team at the recent time trial stage of Terreno Adriatico. Rider Paul Voss gave us some great insights on how he approaches time trials. Uh, too long straight uh, roads and uh, on the way out it's uh, tailwind, on the way back it's a headwind, so it's quite hard. So, what have we learned from Twitter this week? Just like us, pro cyclists also feel the cold. David Miller also pointed out that despite sponsorship commitments, seemingly the majority of the peloton were wearing Castelli Gabba jerseys. Congratulations are also in order for Chris Froome and his new fiancée, Michelle Kuhn, as the pair became engaged last week. Cervelo have once again pushed the boundaries of road cycling technology with their latest frame, the RCA. Weighing in at 670 grams for a size 54 and also claiming to save 7.4 watts at 40 km an hour over the old R5CA. Not many people will ever get to ride one. You'll have to pay $10,000 per frame for the privilege and find one of only 325 that will be made. But the theory is that this kind of technology will eventually trickle down to the mass market. Specialised with debuting a new prototype helmet at Milan San Remo, worn by a very select group of riders, including Vincenzo Nibali of Pro Team Astana and Mark Cavendish of Omega Pharma Quickstep. It looks like an aerodynamic offering, but is strikingly different from what's come before. What do you think? Let us know in the comments section down below. Before we finish, we have a winner in our Garmin 510 competition. Congratulations, Will G. Your new Garmin will be on its way to you. Thanks for watching GCN.